Well, we came out, well, I came out to give the uh, Chanticleer some water and I couldn't get into their pen. There was a lot of ice and it's been melting a lot the last few days and it's just built up and we're gonna rip the door off. So I had to get Jason to come out and we're just pounding at the ice. He got the door open. We're supposed to get pretty much all day ice tomorrow. So we're thinking about moving the Chanticleers in with the other chickens. We have a separation door in the barn, but we have a little bit of cleaning to do to get some of the, the wood chips and stuff out of the way. We gotta make sure we have a light, some electricity to this side of the barn because we don't. Also, we have to make sure they have a nest box and a place to, to roost. So it's a little bit of work and it's gonna be dark in a few hours. So we got our work cut out for us today. Thought I'd bring you along. As you can see here, Jason's been digging and we are able to get into here to our Chanticleers. But we are gonna move them over to this side here of the barn but we want to keep them separated because we do want to hatch out some uh, some eggs and so we got to clean out in here put the separating door make sure it can shut and get this set up with some sort of light or something um, so that they can live happily here because there's no window on this side of the barn the windows on the other side not really how I thought I'd be spending my day today. I have bread rising, I've got apple jelly on the stove, and this big surprise. Let's get in there though. Kind of. The interesting part is going to be getting those chickens because they're so... Well, we have to get them used to us. They're not quite like our chickens, where they're used to us touching them. They're more skittish, so stick around for that. That's going to be the interesting part. And uh, I think I'm going to get hubby to do that part. Hey, so we got this door shut. It's all built up of ice and mixture of uh, wood chips and dirt and whatever else uh, chickens produce. We're going to bring the, uh, I ended up making probably about a month ago or so, a small little portable roost for the, uh, chickens inside here but because we're bringing the new ones over here we're going to set it up probably along this wall that way uh the sean declares have something to build a roost on you actually think you can get that unfrozen yeah i just need uh, uh shovel that you broke I how many shovels shovel. have you broke uh technically only two mm. the one shovel today i can replace the handle all right, so we've got the roof set up against this wall, which is by the separating door. And Jason is just now setting up the waterer. Electricity for the water, and we're going to need a light bulb, which we've got. We're just hooking up the water now. We got the feeder there. And just making sure that it's level. And oh, Woohoo! We have a light. So that's cool. So it'll be a little bit they don't need light. No. Um but especially when like I'm working in here and getting things clean and it helps because it's very dark in here if there's no light. Yeah. Now we have to do this. And catch the other chickens to bring them in. Mm. She's like, let me go. Nice. Leave me alone. So their door is frozen too, so we can't get that one. <laughs> I caught this one before, so it's like... 
No, that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna push him that way, okay? He's coming back this way. We wanted to do that with all of the chickens. I'm like, that's not a good idea. Pick him up in a pen, put him in a new one. Don't let him run around the barn. I'm glad he caught him though. Whew. Well, Jerry's cold just like I am. He is not happy either. <laughs> safe in their new little home for the next probably two maybe three months at the most and the sun is pretty well setting so we got it done just in time We got them in here just before dark, thankfully. They seem to be happy. I gave them some nice little treats, some lettuce, different things. So anyways, we'll see how they do. Um, Jay kind of suggested this at the beginning of the winter. So it's kind of, we kind of had some ideas of what we would do if we needed to, but we did want to try out that other coop. So at least we know now that it's not really great for winter. We might need to make some tweaks or um, possibly try and design something else for next winter. So little challenges come up all the time and it's just a matter of what we do with those challenges and uh, I think it was successful. I think it's going to work out. Um, might make it a little bit more difficult uh, when it comes to going into uh, with the other chickens because I've got to open this door and we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> you can see the chickens are still doing fine. These partridge chanticleers. Uh, they're still doing really great and we are now getting two to three eggs a day 
um, sometimes one, but uh, with the Partridge Chanticleer, they don't lay every day, which is totally fine. They're a heritage breed and that's normal, but um, they're all laying and I'm excited to see if maybe this spring or summer we can have some little hatchlings of these guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, pretty excited to see what we do with these guys. They seem to be quite nice birds. They don't really like being around people, but uh, they're not aggressive at all. They're quite friendly. So that's a bonus. Thank <laughs> you.